Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a fabric review for an Etsy shop called Fabric Fetish. I'm going to point you guys down so you can see this package that I'm about to open and we will open it together. I have not opened it. Um, it's a scrap listing, which means it's a, it's a uh, fabric shop on Etsy that when they have scraps left over, you know, new scraps and they just don't know what to do with it, they kind of put it all together and then they offer it in a listing. So you can get just a variety of all different designer fabrics and it's really fun. So I'm excited to open this and I don't know what's going to be in here. So you guys are going to join me. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to actually, yeah, I think I'm just going to open it here. I love doing these fabric reviews. I have a couple more on my channel from a couple years ago. Um, and the fun thing about them is just kind of showing what you can get from that shop, but also um, just giving a shout out to these, these fabric companies. So I, I really enjoy doing that. I'm gonna do a, a few different things I want to review. One is, is the customer service and the shipping. I didn't have to message this shop at all. Um, I didn't have any kind of problems, which was nice. Um, but I, they seem very professional and I'm sure if I messaged them and had a concern, they would get back to me um, in a timely manner. But as far as shipping, it came really fast. I ordered this on Friday and it's now Monday um, and I live, they're in Kansas and I live in Washington. So that's a pretty good turnaround time. Um, so the packaging, just gonna open that up, comes with a nice business card in here. And then it also has um, a coupon code on the back. So that's really helpful. And then you guys know I try to package very eco-friendly and no plastic, but this will definitely get reused. Um, if I send some, some cloth pad products to like Mexico or um, Canada, somewhere far, usually in the US, I don't have to do that. But um, if I send it really far, I can kind of put this over it just to keep it really safe. So I'll definitely reuse that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of lay these fabrics out. So what I like about this listing, this certain listing with fabric fetish, is that you're gonna get a whole bundle here of different designer fabric so you you don't it's kind of fun you don't really know what you're going to get um you can specify in their listing whether you want um i think just like standard prints children prints or christmas prints so i think you can you know if you're working on like a christmas project or something or if you're working on something for a grandchild or you can specify those two things or you can just say like i just want standard just send me you know just a whole slew of things um, and I, I did put in there that I, I liked all rainbow colors and pink and purple and turquoise and you guys already know that so so this is really fun um, the scraps can come so this is more of a strip so the scraps are going to be all all kind of different right so this they can come as small as um, four by four inches or as large as 15 10 by 15 inches um, so that's really nice you kind of get like a variety what would a scrap pack be good for I would say um, I would say a, a scrap quilt, like if you guys wanted to do a scrap quilt, you had like a project. This is really pretty. I hope that's coming up on my camera. That is like beautiful with those little butterflies. Um, so you could do a scrap quilt, a scrap project. Um, I actually have a cousin that's coming to visit me and we're going to make uh, reusable cloths for her kitchen. And she's even considering doing family cloth. If you guys don't know what family cloth is, type it in on YouTube. I don't have a video on it because we don't do family cloth. I'm considering it, but my boys, I'm in a house full of boys. So they're a little bit like, mm, I don't think so, mom. But uh, anyways, check that out. So it'll just be nice for those little projects and you get, it's just a surprise. You know, that's the, the kind of the nice thing about it. So that's really fun. Some floral i've actually seen this print and thought about ordering it but i was like well you know i don't know so that's really cool i'm really excited i got that this print i have seen before and i actually wondered if my customers would like it and so i'm really excited that i have a scrap of that because now i can try it out on them and see if they like it um so far i'm gonna say i'm gonna talk about quality because so far i can feel these fabrics are all really nice like this there's no they don't have um if you're familiar with fabric what you're watching a fabric haul video so you probably are kind of familiar with fabric but there's no they don't have like the broadcloth feel or like that thin kind of cheaper fabric they're very nice like really good quality this one is really pretty you guys look at that one um so yeah like in this size this one's pretty big i mean they've given me looks like 13 inches yeah it looks like about 13 inches by almost like it's almost a half yard so that's kind of nice to have a big one in there. This would make a really nice wet bag, that size. And then some royal, some royal print, the crowns, some blue flowers, raindrops, gray. 
you know me guys, I like, if you know anything about Bullets Bobbles, myself, you know that I love pink and I love flowers. Just can't help it. This is really fun. I have not seen this one before. It's almost like a bee, like a bee. Hope my camera is getting that. Like a beehive print with little flowers in it. That's cute. Moon. This one's really cute too. What is that? That is, oh, it's bunnies, bunny rabbits. So that's fun, kind of an oriental, oriental print. Some Hawaiian florals. This looks like kitty cats and bears on the world. That's cute. Oh wow, this is really pretty. This is not something I ever would have thought to buy, but like seeing it in person, it's extremely cute. Look at these like psychedelic mushrooms. That one's gonna be really fun to work with. Okay, this one's kind of funky too. This one almost has like an oriental feel. And that one's really nice. There's some really nice fall colors in here, which we're coming in uh, today is actually the first day of autumn. So we're coming into fall. So I will be kind of switching up to maybe some more kind of, of those kind of colors and not so much the bright summer colors. That's really pretty. And some pink. I was kind of hoping, I know that the shop um, sells Tula pink. I was really hoping there was gonna be more Tula pink in here. Just from the picture on the listing, um, they have some more, like some more uh, Tula pink prints on there, so. It's not misleading because you definitely know that you're going to get just kind of whatever they throw at you. But um, I was kind of hoping for some more tulip pink. So cool. So you can see here that there's a variety of fabrics. And this has been like just really cool to just get a whole bundle of these. Like it's just some new stuff to play with. Um, so I would say overall, I'll move you guys back up. So I'm going to say that overall, um, I have like a little cheat sheet here in front of me. The shipping was really good. I didn't have to use any kind of customer service. Um, so I wasn't really, I can't really review that as far as like just everything seemed very professional. Um, the price, so this was $17 for a listing and you get two yards and I ordered three of those. So I got about six yards worth of fabric. Um, and I would say that's a really good price for what you're getting because you're getting a whole slew of different kinds of scraps and they're high quality. Um, so if you guys want to learn more about Fabric Fetish and want to try their fabrics, I suggest that you go there and check them out. And um, if you like this video and you want to see more like it, I would love if you comment below and like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!